Hello everybody, my name is Jensen and welcome to episode 159 of Old School RuneScape Challenges. I'm here with Dave as usual. How are we doing, Dave? How are we doing? We're good. Before we start, boys, drop a like, drop a subscribe. I mean, it's not even been that long since the last episode, which is on Tanzu's channel. For those of you who don't know, we interchange each episode on each of his channel. Next episode will be on Dave's. Next episode of that will be on mine. You get the drift, so make sure you check out the last video on Dave's channel. Moving on to the challenge, Dave. This is going to be called the lowest XP to 1 million GP challenge. The goal, the goal is to make 1 million GP from scratch, but whoever does this with the lowest XP gained will win, Dave. Okay. We've done something similar before where we've done no XP money making, but the actual money making methods we use in this video, Dave, they have to obtain XP at some point during the money maker. So you can't do things like grapes, you can't do things like flipping, you have to obtain XP during the money maker. We can't do the usual money making activities is what you're trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. We also must use at least three different money makers for the sake of variation, Dave, you know what I mean, spice the video up a little bit. Uh, and the GE is also allowed for buying and selling items, Dave. Okay. The loser will receive a forfeit as usual, which in this case, Dave, I'm just going to do a flat, we've not done this in ages, a flat 15 million GP to whoever wins. All right, money bags. So if I win, like I'm going to, you're going to pay me 15 mil. If you win, not likely, I'll pay you 15 mil. All right. Sound good? I mean, you might as well just give it me now, can no, you? We'll see then, won't we? We'll see then. Just go on, give it us now. Fuck oh, off. <laughs> right, fellas, kicking this challenge off. Obviously, I need to come up with my first money maker, which I'm going to make from scratch. It's going to be from scratch, something I can make money with, requires nothing to start with, gains little XP. I'm sat there thinking, and I come up with this unbelievable idea. Honestly, I step up the game every single week we do these challenges. Every single time I pull something new out of the bag, something that's never been seen, and wait till you see this unbelievable money maker. I'm gonna be picking up uh, uh, flax and turning it into <sighs> bowstrings. Let's not laugh, lads, right? Listen, 15 XP a pop to start with isn't bad per bowstring. It's not amazing XP. It's not the worst in the world, but it's gonna get us some decent profit to start off with. Right, lads, I have made 168 bowstrings. It's 15 XP a pop, so it's not the best, it's not the worst, but we're going to whack those in the G for 15 and a half K. The plan now, right, listen to this moneymaker, this is genius. I'm going to buy a spade, um, I'm going to buy some teleport, I'm going to use teleport tabs as well, so I'm not getting XP from teleporting. Uh, with the intention, I'm going to pickpocket hand members. And I'm going to do the easy clue scrolls in the hope for some good RNG from the clue scrolls. I'm gaining XP during the process of getting the clue. Therefore, it's allowed. I make the rules. David doesn't. This is an unbelievable play by the Gem Meister. I have planned a video. I know what you're thinking. Bloody hell, Dave. He's planned a video. I have. Do you want to see it? I know you do. Let's have a look at this. We're going to pickpocket a couple of men. I think you said hello. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? We're going to pickpocket some men. To get some XP, because they give minimal XP, and I only need a couple of coins. Why do we need coins? Boom. Bronze pickaxe, upstairs. No XP gained. Boom. Chisel from the general store. No problem. From there, we're going to go craft some uh, blood runes, which are very, very good money, and I don't know actually know how much XP to give. As you can see, I put, don't know what XP is, because I don't craft them for fun. Um, from there... Sorry to interrupt, boys, but uh, Dave goes on a massive seven-minute tangent here about his Grandmaster plan even though he details and explains his plan as he's doing it during the video. So I'm going to save you some time, I'm going to save me some time editing. Uh, if you want to pause the video and look at his uh, garbage three-minute plan he came up with on Notepad, there it is. If not, let's jump into it. I don't actually know how much a, uh, a chisel is. 8 XP. We're already 8 XP in and we've got three coins. Hello, there's a bronze pickaxe. Bloody hell, what's going on in here? Why is this so hard? Oh, he's, <laughs> he's doing a clue. <laughs> One coin, unreal. I've gained 8, eight XP. Teleport to Arceus. We don't use XP. And look at that. Would you look at that? We have entered the realm of arguably the shittest zone on the game. Right, we're going to chip these um, these pointy hats. And uh, we'll... Uh, I don't know what I'm fucking saying here. We're going to hit the fucking rock and then we're going to turn them into some, some runes. These do give 20 XP a pop, which... It isn't ideal. It's quite, it, to be fair, it's quite pricey, but it's very good money. That's, 
That's what... This is the thing we've got to weigh up in this challenge, right? The better XP things give the most money, right? But we're trying to not get XP, obviously, if you've read the rules. Like, look at this, I already gained 100 XP. Fucking hell. I forgot I could do a good Marge Simpson, you know. Do you want to hear it? Homie. Let's do some room crafting, homie. <laughs> homie. Oh, that's better. That was a good one, wasn't it? Homie. We're getting some room crafting XP. Homie. <laughs> there it goes. 2.5k. Oh, 2 I've got 108 blood runes. Holy. That's very nice indeed. Hold the phone. We might do a couple more than 200 here. Just get the cash up a bit. We go again. 2.2k. I've got 204 blood runes. Fucking hell. I've already made 70k. Another batch of blood runes done. 400 on a dot. I didn't plan that. If we do a little price check here, yeah, that is in bed. <laughs> 137k. Hello, say no more. We're gonna. Get, this is that. That's it. We're not milking this anymore because I'm not, I'm not a snake quite right, Jen. Here we go. Blood runes on the GE. We'll low price him. 134k. <laughs> right, I'm sorry. This is 300 IQ play. 19 XP a pit pocket. I can also sell some of these little bits for some extra coinage. Like, this is unbelievable. As well, what I was thinking, right? I could also go to Piro Piro. Piro Piro. Piro. I could go over there and also catch some imps myself. Um, some of the magpies give some like decent loot and also they have chances of getting medium and hard clue scrolls. So that's another good shout I could do for another money maker. Mate, I have done 1700 XP and I have not had one. Over a hundred pickpockets, not one clue scroll. This is actually such a good idea, and it's just not working because of stupid RNG. I'm just getting so unlucky. In fairness, these ham boots are apparently 3k each, and I've got two pairs of those. So, I mean, I may as well just bank all the ham stuff because people obviously buy it for the quest. So, that's probably a good shout, actually. Search the book it in Portarim Jail. Wonder what Dave's doing. Dave wouldn't have thought of this. It's too clever for Dave, this. Dave wouldn't have had a clue. See what I did there? Because I'm getting clue scrolls. All right, I just need to get out of this jail now. Now we've done that step. Uh, hello, guys. Hello. Two-step clue. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god, the number. <laughs> Second casket. Go on then. Oh my god, any other page. Like, I know pages aren't worth a lot nowadays, but like any other page other than that, and it's worth a, an all right amount. Right, just selling some of the loot from the pit pockets. We've made 10k, considering we've done like 3k thieving XP. That's not great, boys and girls. That's not great. Come on, something good here. Oh, that looks good. That's nice. That's nice. I'll take that all day, every day of the week, every day of the week. That's that's decent money. See, some of you might be thinking, Jen, this is a fucking stupid idea, mate. You're an absolute donor. But listen to me. If I get one of the, like the the bloody monk pieces, which are like over a mil, I've done the video just like that, like. It, it, it's an obvious choice to try and go for to start with, in my opinion, just to make the, the start of money. Right, I bought a gear setup. Here we go. We've got 1,000 cast. This is going to be our XP to get our drops. We are going to go ahead and get ourselves. We could actually do some house tabs as well, because that way we don't have to use any money. Things you love to see. A Saradomine cape. Right, we are set for the Dragons of Lava Nature. We're going to fire strike them at 126 combat. Probably die, and if I do die, I'm gonna be very upset. I have banked my 101k, I've turned them into platinum tokens just to keep a nice little mental note of them. Getting way too much XP here, eh? getting way too much. I'm only gonna kill this one. Give me a Vissy now, and we'll call it a day. I don't want to talk about how much XP you've just cost me. Go on, give us some loot now. I'm only doing the one. Fucking room, fucking javelins. That was a bad idea. It was a good idea in hindsight. We're gonna do what I do best, and that's wing it. I'm going to buy myself. A butterfly net. And we're also going to buy some impling jars. And with these, we're going to catch some imps to then sell on the G, right? Clues is a very good idea, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to buy a stamina, because I know a place where dragon imps... And whenever we do a challenge video, I always find a dragon imp here, right? So I'm going to have a look there. Let's do a bit of hopping around and see if we can spot a dragon imp. First world of luck was a ninja imp. Catch it. Cat. No, 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 no. Yes. 240 XP. Jeez. 26k. Oh, dear. Barrows is an absolutely fan dabby dozy idea. It's a really good idea in this kind of video. 
but I mean I might I might do like a chest or two at some point but I'm not, you know I'm not doing that I'm not if Jen does Barrow shame on him shame on him another electric implant that's a bit of me a wild tanzu is uh, running through the Fremenic province on his way to Camelot and Sears village looking around the game for some implings of red origin some say they go by the name of dragon dragon implings <sighs> so fucking imps fuck this sorry youtube friendly trud this <laughs> i'm going puro puro and i'm gonna go pvp world as well because uh, i doubt anyone will be there right we're currently sitting on a 70k cash stack so far which considering we've been a few clues i'm actually quite uh, happy with i'm gonna carry on just a little bit longer see if i can bump it up a little bit more and then i'm probably gonna move on to puro puro to try and find some better implants do some medium some hards and also get some decent loot just from those imps See, this is when the method's actually working perfectly. Like, it literally took me like six or seven pit pockets. That's literally no XP. It's like 18 XP a pit pocket, so it works out absolutely nothing. That's another page. It's like 29k. Listen, I can't complain. That's nice. The fuck did you say to me, little bitch? Gasket, here we go. Ooh, that's nice. 50k. Bob's black shirt. See? I'm going to try to get one more big item before I move on to uh, the other method, I think. <sighs> Might not be a good clear reward, but... I can still fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the H1, now a H4. We're getting a H2 next, and I'll be able to breathe. H2O. <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. See, it feels like I'm milking these dry a bit now, but at the minute, like, I'm coming back, I'm doing like six or seven pit pockets, and I'm getting a clue straight away. It's like such sick, like, GP to XP ratio. Oh, if those were like just a little bit of a better scroll, mate, a little bit of a better teleport scroll, unbelievable. Oh, these are not good now. I, 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 one more, I need my fix. One more good one. <laughs> right, we've sold absolutely everything. We had just over 200k, so I've invested in some implant jars. We're just gonna, we're gonna fly around like a butterfly, mate. Muhammad Ali style, yeah? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. We're gonna catch a bear implants, open them. I'm debating, I I'll probably open a few. I might keep a few just to sell in the GE. Um, but hopefully I can get a few like media, maybe even some hard clues from the magpie, something like that. That'd be, I that'd be ideal, really. Right, I'll show you a quick little price check of all the eclectics and all these other which I accidentally caught. There's 50k on the dot. I'm gonna open them anyway because I've got balls of steel. Let's see if we get a clue scroll, hopefully. Look at that, mate. Literally like the third one or second. Unbelievable. Clue scroll, let's go get it done. Medium clue done. Ranger boots. Unlucky. <laughs> I should have just done the easy clues. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> My beautiful ginger princess Cecilia has just given me a casket. I can't believe she's put ranger boots in there. Oh, actually, the purple sweets, mate. Purple sweets are a big one. That's that's basically 70k because of the purple sweets. Unbelievable scenes. I've still got a few more imps in the bank, so we hopefully, hopefully we get one more clue. To be fair, if I get another clue from these last imps, I will have gotten pretty lucky, baby. It's a fucking lucky imp and I can't catch it. 89. Oh, that's I really want that lucky imp. Right, realistically, can I go get a boost for this imp and then come back and catch it? Right, lads, I've got my I've got my wily Hellcat out the bank. I don't know, I don't think that's against the rules because I do have a shit ton of yellow spice in the bank. But uh, obviously, I'm not just going to get that out. It's cheating. I beg, it's still there, and I beg, I get the plus five boost. There, it's there. Look, imp's there. Let me through. Here we go. 89, 88. Shit. There's a ninja in there. I'll have that ninja. I'll have that ninja. No, no, no. Oh, come on, it's money. Right, boom. Ninja implant. Cool. We've got one more chance at getting the lucky imp. Right, now, I think Puro Puro, I think the more, like, high-tier ones you catch, it, like, four spawns or some shit. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that lucky is despawned. I've not seen it for a while, which is actually quite upsetting. 88 boost. Fuck off. Uh, but two ninjas, that's like 50k if I can catch it. Fucking boom, lads. How much are they? 52 smackers. I, I literally go through the fucking wheat and look, and then it goes past me. He goes through me. He's pissing me off. Come here. Come here. Oh! Stay there. Don't move. Don't move. Fuck you. What are you doing here? Getting pissed off. That's what I'm doing here. Oh my god, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. Holy fuck. Please.
please. I need this. I need this. I need you. I need you. No, 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 no. Stay there. Stay, 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 stay. Come on. Yes. Come on. Oh my god, that is the best hop I've ever done ever. Oh, oh yes. We're gonna go to the GE and sell all this and see what we've got. <laughs> okay. 7.8k. 4.8k. 79k. 105k. 316k. We have 627k. <laughs> Captain Khaled, another one. Let's see how good this medium clue is. <sighs> sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. More bloody green than a drug dealer, boys. What's going on there? A second look at that, boys. You see, that technically only took me two catches, which is 60 XP. 60 XP for the money from a medium clue score, which is going to be 30 mil for the Ranger boots. It's unbelievable, plays. My ginger princess has brought me great goods. That's decent. Listen, I don't even think, I think it's mainly the purple sweets, to be honest with you, rather than the pink elegant. But let me tell you, Jensen's looking spicy. I can see you eyeing me up there, Cecilia. I'll see you later. She even turned to follow me. Dirty little <laughs> Got a casket again, being called out for my unbelievable gear. And that is an absolute garbage clear scroll. And I'm out of imps, which means we've got to go back to bloody Perry Perry Chicken Land. Reckon I could one hit someone with this Warhammer? I'm pretty adamant I could. <laughs> Quick little sell, almost 400k. It adds up, you know, the purple sweets and things like that. Uh, I am going to keep going. I'll probably try and build up maybe to just over 500k and then we can start looking to uh, uh, something else to do. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. See that there? Watch this now, watch. Um. 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 Ah! I could really do with having a look for some of these magpies, because even if I just sold those on the GE, I'm pretty sure they're like 25k each. So that would probably be way better money than me trying to open these bloody clues and just getting absolutely shit all constantly. Casket! Oh, like... Could have been any different blessing. It would have been actually decent money. Right, we've just sold some of the clue though. Add some, uh, quite a few diamonds and also some battle staff. So we're on 460k currently. I'm going to try another couple medium clues. Try my luck. I feel like I should go for like one RNG method. Like even just one Barrows run or two Barrows runs. I think that might actually be a good shout to be honest with you. Because I don't know. I'll have to do the calculations in terms of like how much XP I'd actually get from doing one Barrows run and try and play it off from there. You fucking are not doing that. You aren't. You are not. You are not. Rat. Hello, Mr. Ninja Implant. Don't mind having a swipe at you. Swipe my credit card. Thank you very much. We're actually going to try... Well, technically, this is our fourth money maker. We're going to try and do ourselves some easy clue scrolls. Now, easy clues, they're not the best because the god pages aren't really worth much anymore. However, you can get things like the golden chef art, the golden apron, gold trim monk robes. I think they're worth a sweet coin and uh, the large spade. Oh, my God. We're nearly done. I've got 800k, bang on. We are going to buy a couple of Impling Jars just in case, by chance, we stumble across anything while we are doing these easy clue scrolls. I don't even think I've done 20k XP yet. <laughs> Am I nailing this or... I mean, obviously I got lucky, but the Dragon Imps were a huge play, right? Does anyone look at this, right? This right here. Does anyone look at this and just think... What the fuck goes where? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a cast kit. 200k and I'm done. <laughs> I mean, at least it's 17k. It could have been a lot worse. 180k, please. Oh, dear. That's what we call a two-step easy clue. And that is what we call... <gasps> oh, why are you so cheap? 12k! Mate... Is that me page one back in the day? It's like minimum 300k. I thought I was done, man. Two-step clue. They call. They actually call me uh, two-step tan. 
and this is why. You know what, that is the shittest looking clue I've seen, but it says it's 55k. Is the black beret worth a coin? Fucking hell. That is the final casket, hell it. Well ladies and gents, we have sold absolutely everything, 933k, boot. <laughs> you see, I should have brought fucking, st oh great. Look at it, three on one, Braz is seen over here for a magpie, unbelievable. Let's get these bad boys cracked open again. I'm getting so lucky with these imps, to be honest with you. Like, I genuinely am getting lucky with the clues, so I can't really complain. <laughs> it's 3K. Dave's got me excited. The, the, the jewelry got me excited there. Garbage. Right, you know what I'm going to do, boys? I'm going to buy a black salamander, and we're going to do two maximum barrows runs. Last video when I did barrows, did quite a few chests, didn't get anything. I'm going to limit myself to two. I'm going to waste a lot of XP here, but I can't keep bloody... Think about it. On average, I mean, I've been getting really lucky with the clue scrolls, but... You know, apparently it's like 1 in 25. You work out the XP, that's like, what, 3,300, 600, uh, 750 XP per clue. And I'm getting 3k loots. Do you know what I mean? So why don't I just smash out like two barrow chests and I'm not going to get that much XP from it. I've literally just bought a black Sally, barrow's tab, a DDS, and I mean, I've left all my tabs out. I don't want to get them confused with the ones in my bank, you see. So 530k cash so far. I did find some um, adamant ore in the bank from the old um from the implant jars and this, this will be fine I, i'm not gonna lie i'm slightly wincing at the xp uh obviously i didn't even factor in the fact that i get hp xp and that is actually hurting me quite a lot looking at that to be honest right i'm not gonna bother with kc i mean it's extra xp trying to kill the the skeletons and also i'm only here for the one hit a quit a big boy chest boys i want the big boy barrows item don't care about the runes don't get me wrong it's nice but i need the i i need the item please I should have just done bloody clues, mate. Right, I'll take the Verac helm and I'll be on my way, boys. This game is against me. I've literally just used so much XP to do two chests and it gives me mind runes. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. Let's <laughs> gain some XP, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Finish him. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Why am I doing this? If I don't win this now, I'm 300k down from just stupidity. Nice. Nice. Please. That's not ideal, is it? Please. Fuck! 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 I can't. I can't. Nah, fuck that. I can't. I, I'm not. I'm not going all in. Twelve seconds later. I'm a fucking donut. Right. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm catching imps. I'm getting I'm getting 370k in imps and I'm done. Fuck this. Right, ladies and gents, we are ending the video here. Why? Because I've got a full invent of impling jars. I'm gonna fill everyone up with a good imp, right? Because I can't physically afford to gain any more XP because the staking sesh was a stupid idea. Was it fun? For a for a brief period. Was it stupid? Yeah. He's AFK and there's a dragon imp. I need this. Let's just assume he's not playing. Boom! We got it. We got the dragon imp. Oh! Okay. Done. Get in. If we do a little collect here, boom, 1 million and 60,000 coins. Just want to say, the staking was a mistake, but it was a fun mistake. I have literally made myself 500k in less than 1k XP. I genuinely made more money from doing easies than I have from the mediums and the bloody barrows. So I'm going to do some more easies. Like, just give me some, like, of the weird rare items. Give me a bloody beret. I want to be standing next to the Eiffel Tower in a fucking blue beret, boys, or a sleeping cap. Do you know what I mean? Give me some of Oh, they're just, they're literally just as bad. They're just as bad. This is actually a sick clue. The hint is thanks, Grandma. And his name's Tank You Nan. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jagex. I gotta hand it to him. 
Uh, therefore, you're going to give me a 100k clue reward. Oh, lad, I would have done this. Why is the economy so shit? I would have finished this challenge by now. I've had an Armadale page, I've had a Bloody Sara page, I've had this page. These were like 400k not long ago. What's going on here? Right, boys, I am fed up with clue scrolls, right? So I've gone to the next best thing. I've done a bit of research, right? If I can buy these diamonds, right, for this price, I can get 323 with my 600k that I've got. If I then turn those in to diamond bolt tips, I can make about 200 GP per diamond. So just doing this stack here, that's what, 2040... I'm going to make some money, boys. The best thing about it, you get about 7 XP per diamond that you chisel. Uh, that gives you 12 bolt tips. So, in total, if I do about 1,000 of these, in theory, I should be making around 250k. Uh, and as well as that, I'll only be getting, like, what, 7, 8,000 fletching XP. I'm, I'm getting, like, 5 or 6k thieving XP when I'm trying to get clue scrolls. So, this is guaranteed money. So, this is a good, this is a good method in my book. <laughs> Right, it's taken me about but somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes to get all these cut down. Let's bang these in. Bearing in mind, I did spend about 600k on the dot on these. Oh, please sell. Right, look, 78k profit. That's in like 15, 20 minutes. That's unbelievable. Listen, the saying is true. Diamonds are forever. What am I playing? Bloody Minecraft, boys and girls. You know what I mean? Diamonds are the one. See, this is actually class, right? I'm getting 7 XP per one, right? For that big batch I did before, I gained just over 2k experience, right? And that got me 80k GP. 2k thieving experience from pickpocketing is about 100 pickpockets. It's 1 in 50 for a clue, so I'd be getting two easy clues, right? So unless I'm going to be getting more than 80k from two easy clues, which is difficult, this method is 10 times better, so much better. <laughs> There it is, 1 million GP. This method was so sick. Let's go meet Dave. Ladies and gents, we are back. After making the mill GP, Dave, how'd you find it? <laughs> you know what? I, I absolutely smashed it. And then I did something for a bit of uh, content, as they say. Yeah. And I think I messed up, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it wasn't too bad to be honest with you. I actually quite enjoyed it. It was a good little fun little activity well, yeah, to yeah. do, wasn't it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Yeah, yeah. With that being said, Dave, yeah. Put the total XP you use getting that 1 million GP from scratch in the chat box right now to the GP, uh, to the XP, David. Right, I'm going to do a 3, 2, 1 countdown. You ready? 3, yep. 2, 1, go. Oh my God! Get in! Get in! You know what's fucked me? I did two barrows chests. That's probably what's fucked me. I did two barrows chests. Did you get anything? No, did I fuck? Dave, I made about 6k from two barrel chests. No, no lie. If I had done my last money making method, Dave, I was bloody turning diamonds into diamond bolt tips, 7 XP a pop. I was making absolute bank. If I'd done that from nearer the start, I did a few less clues, I would have beat you. That's depressing. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I had a, a bit of RNG involved. Go on. Um, I caught a D imp. Oh, uh, yeah, of course early. you did. Yeah, of course you did. Um, yeah, um, I, I like logged in onto it. You, like, when you edit a clip, unreal. Um, <laughs> I went staking and lost almost half a mil. Really? And then, yeah. And then I went back and I got a DM straight away. Oh, uh, great. Yeah, yeah, of course. Got of rid course. of it all, mate. Of course. Right, Dave, the forfeit, as you know, 15 million GP to your name. You know what? <laughs> There's nothing better than green text is the next to some coins that you know what i dream about that green text sometimes i do i just oh, oh no you know <laughs> you're I mean? a sad little man i'm a sad little man jim but that's going straight on fucking runescape gold <laughs> <laughs> you get about six Not pence a mil in. now lad Boys, thank you very much for watching this episode of All Screen RuneScape Challenges. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Head over to Dave's channel as well. Check out all the latest and greatest episodes. And 159 of them. 159 of them. Take your pick. I mean, don't watch the first 70 because they're garbage, but... Uh, nah, this... Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Commentary's <laughs> a bit questionable. Uh, and we'll see you in a bit, boys. A bit. Bye.